That was during the Kerritor event. So that was during the most powerful solar eruption in our US history. Okay? It's called the Kerrington event. And during this event, yes, you saw auroras from Hawaii. The telegraph wires got burnt out. They didn't have. Did they have telegraph wires at that time? Oh, yes, 18, they did. 59? Oh, yes. okay. They got burned out. Okay. So if an event like this happens now, I have a question for you. Yes. What's going to happen? All the cell phones. Make your cell phones. <laughs> make everything. It will be a disaster. This is like the worst. It's like an ENM pulse. Everything will be knocked out, and then it will take us years to recover. And this is what would be very of interest to students, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do they have a number, like how often that's supposed to occur? The probabilities increase when we are at the maximum activity, when the sun is at solar maximum. So last solar maximum was year 2002-2003. In year 2003, we had some very powerful eruptions. They took place around the Halloween. In late October, early November, they were called the Halloween events. We were very lucky. Those events, those bubbles were not launched directly towards us, they were launched 90 degrees. So they were basically going uh, in the wrong direction. But if we took direct hit, that would have been disastrous. And uh, usually these mass ejections, they slow down as they travel through space, but for those events in 2003, they didn't slow down whatsoever until they got to Jupiter because we got some measurements from spacecraft.